This program was made possible by our generous sponsors. Hi, my name is Chris. I run the planetarium at MySci in Schenectady. Welcome to another episode of MySci on the Move. Today, I'll introduce you to a constellation we can see in the spring and early summer, Leo. Leo is an ancient constellation, and we're not actually sure what his original story was. But just from his name, you might guess what animal we imagine him to be. His brightest star is named Regulus, which means the king's star. He's a large animal, a predator, often called the king of the jungle. That's right, Leo is a lion. It's easiest to find Leo if we find the Big Dipper first. To do that, look high overhead, almost straight up after it gets dark. Until you find four stars for the scoop and three more for the handle. To learn more about the Big Dipper, check out our past episode on our Facebook or Instagram pages, or on our YouTube channel. Once you've found the Big Dipper, imagine it's a giant hammer, like what Wiley E. Coyote would use on the Roadrunner. Then, swing the hammer down, and you find a group of stars that looks like a backwards question mark. The backwards question mark is Leo's head and mane, so we say that the hammer hits the kitty on the head. Now that we've found the lion's head, what about the rest of him? Look for a triangle following along behind the backwards question mark. That's the back half of the cat. I like to imagine he's resting there on his paws, like the sphinx, but you can draw him pretty much however you want as long as he fits in this area. The bright blue star that forms the dot in the question mark is the star Regulus. And when you're looking at Regulus, you're actually looking at four stars that form a system going around one another, like planets go around our sun. The brightest star is the heart of this system, but it has companions. A tiny white dwarf star nearby. Then a pair of stars much farther away. The orbits in this system aren't extremely complicated, but it does take a careful balancing between the star's gravity, speed, and distances to make everything work out. If you want to experiment with making your own star systems, try an app called Orbit, playing with gravity for iPhones and Android. The first people to record the constellation of Leo were the ancient Babylonians about 3,000 years ago. So if you go outside tonight, find the Big Dipper, imagine it swinging down through the sky until it hits the backwards question mark, then imagine that as Leo's head, you're imagining the same picture that people did 3,000 years ago. If you're not sure you'll be able to find it, there are apps available for all kinds of phones. Just search stars or astronomy and look for a free one to get started. This has been another episode of MySci on the Move. Check out our channel on YouTube or our Facebook and Instagram pages for more videos. Thanks for watching.